Hello everyone, welcome to some Hawaii design. Today we are going to be trying the new feature of Alias 2026, which is you already know, probably the red renderer. Uh, and these animations are uh, pretty much the output, one of the screenshots during the Alias uh, 3D modeling session. And we are going to be creating that. Uh, in order to have those environments, the HDRs, we go to cgi backgrounds this video by the way is not sponsored by any of the websites that i mentioned here uh, once uh, i downloaded one free hdri from cgi backgrounds in order to open it up under the environment editor uh, you gotta click that folder that i indicated on a red circle over there and make sure your red render option is on. Don't do that uh, while you are using alias renderer uh, because it kind of fails. I couldn't manage to open it up. Maybe uh, you have any other solutions. Let me know in the comments below. But yes, make sure your red renderer is opened and import your HDR like I mentioned before and make sure your uh, environment and ground plane option is on under the hardware shade menu in order to see the hdr uh, in the end so uh, in this phase i am trying to manipulate the hdr uh, quickly uh, in our scene to make sure the car stands in a correct position regarding to the road if the scale is uh, odd we can scale the environment as well but in this case, I am quite happy with the scale of it. As you as you look at the far uh, side of the road tracks, it kind of gets a little bit uh, wobbly. But it doesn't matter if we kind of eliminate that uh, with our screenshots or kind of render imagery. And as you can see, this is quite a realistic hdr we have a uh, directly in alias if you are familiar with the render engines such as red uh, or uh, blender or unreal engine you are kind of uh you're gonna find it easy to navigate the hdrs in the alias uh scene so uh, my favorite trio shader editor environment editor and sh shader library sticks together on the left hand side of the screen and on the right hand side i have hardware shade opened doesn't matter uh, for now i'm just going to be drag and drop simple materials from red assets in the shader library um, once you uh, open it up uh, there are car paints uh, and you can drag and drop with your middle mouse button this is important use your middle mouse button uh, in order to assign uh, different material uh, to your uh, scene as long as your materials are the same in our case my uh, body color all of the body color areas are the same color so that is why easy to uh, change the color directly with the middle mouse button if you use your left mouse button uh, it'll only uh, change the patch layout of the uh, surface only in this case uh, I assign glass material but since i don't have any interior uh, data uh, it'll be useless to uh, use uh, such a transparent uh, material anyway so uh, i'm going to be uh, changing that color uh, to the black some sort of reflective black or something like that we don't need to have 100 percent of realistic super shiny final renders anyway right we are still doing our 3d modeling works in alias uh, with this uh, with this feature we are able to have a look at it in a much more beautiful way we are not trying to uh, kind of get finalized uh, shiny photorealistic renders here uh, but I don't know maybe you push the limits who knows uh, I added another camera to my scene and I am kind of distorting its view uh, the depth of field and any other uh, aspects of it to create kind of much more effective uh, shot uh, as far as I'm concerned so this is just an on only uh, fun little project
project, bundle site project, but we are able to uh, add uh, camera ed camera and edit that camera uh, under the camera editor menu. Like I said, uh, if you are familiar with the rendering engines, you find these uh, options easy. Uh, but if you are not, don't forget to uh, explore. You free to ex you are free to explore, and it is always better to learn new things. So try that. Try every aspect of the um, editor here, which I am currently doing. I'm just randomly changing some stuff and hoping to <laughs> hoping to make my uh, scene shine. But yeah, you got the point anyway. I kind of rotate the uh, lens a little bit to kind of give it a much more kind of uh, effective uh, um, effective shot over there. And yeah, it, it looks just enough. Yeah, good enough, right? Uh, Still, we are able to uh, continue our 3D modeling with this uh, view, right? If I can, I can open up the CVs and pull, push some uh, CVs and still try to uh, model. We can do it. But in our case, uh, yeah, I pu pulled the environment editor in and I'm uh, playing with the color corrections to make it even uh, pop up better. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to have one uh, single screenshot frame here and then I will be uh, transferring that to the Viscom to get the uh, 5 seconds animations that we watched in the beginning of the video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video by the way. The, I mean, this is this is really promising. Look at the um, look at the render scene we have directly in Alias. This is before and after I played I played with color corrections within the environment editor, and yeah, this is really stunning, guys. This is really great. Uh, I hope uh, you find this video uh, useful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment your thoughts below. I really wonder what you guys think with this new uh, update. Uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Bye bye.